If you're a business owner, team member, or entrepreneur, chances are you don't have a lot of time in your day to go back and forth trying to coordinate team members for group meetings, hopping on last minute video phone calls, or repeat the same training content time and time again. There are so many chats that can be discussed without the need to be live with team members, but in order to free up some of your time like this, you need the right tool in place to make that happen. This is where Vidcast from WebEx comes in. And in this video today, I'm going to show you exactly how you can cut down your meetings and onboarding processes by creating a vidcast that will speed up your workflow. I'll show you how to use and create your very own vidcast, so keep on watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sarah. I help you create digital influence using video, and I do that by sharing different tools, tips, and gadgets to help you create your influence and workflows with ease. Before we get into the video, remember to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so I can keep creating content just like this to help you on your journey. What is vidcast? Before showing you how to make your very own vidcast, I wanted to briefly explain what Vidcast is. So in short, Vidcast is a video messaging tool that makes it super easy to record and edit short videos, share them with your team members or customers, and get feedback on that content. Vidcast was specifically designed to provide team members the flexibility to replace meetings with video messages, which means team members get to view these videos in their own time, saving a lot of back and forth communication and context switching throughout the day. Plus with meeting fatigue from the last couple of years, it's even more important that people on your team view certain projects and videos in their own time. Vidcast is also a really helpful tool for recording highly repetitive tasks such as demos, trainings, onboarding videos that you can reuse time and time again. How to make a vidcast. To create a vidcast is super simple. So you simply click the new video button in the top right hand corner of the app. You'll first see a preview screen where you can manage your settings, including what content you want to share, turning your camera on or off, and using an external mic or camera. Once the settings are to your desired liking, you can start recording your video. While you're recording, you won't see your camera bubble. However, it is being captured and you will see it when you stop recording and click to preview your video. Before sending your video, you can edit the title of the video, add a description or chapters, as well as use the simple drag and drop editor so you can refine your message just how you want it. When you're ready to share, you click the share video button to manage sharing permissions and copy the share link to share with members on your team. And what is really great about this link is that your video will be accessible even to those without a Vidcast account. So if the video is set to public, anyone with the video link can view the video. In order to leave a reaction or comment, the receiver will have to log in or register for a free account, which makes sharing feedback, refining messaging, asking for clarifications and keeping projects moving much more efficient and seamless. Seamless. If you wish to publish the video across your social platforms, should the video be used for that purpose, you can either paste the share link, which will automatically generate a video preview with a thumbnail image, a video title and description, or you can download a copy of the video and publish it to your desired platforms. And a feature that is coming soon is a click to share to socials channel link, which will remove the step of having to copy and paste the share link. Vidcast videos are widely shareable on various browsers, so you'll never need to worry if the video can or can't open on various browsers. Helpful features in Vidcast. I wanted to cover some really helpful features within Vidcast that really make this tool stand out. And one of them being closed captions. Closed captions, as you may know, are super helpful when you're working in an environment where you just can't listen to the video with the volume turned up, or perhaps you prefer to consume videos with the captions on, considering this is how so many videos across the web are being consumed these days. If you're anything like me, chances are you consume video playbacks at faster speeds to get all the information that you need in a fraction of the time. And Vidcast is really intuitive with this, and for this reason, Vidcast's default playback speed is set to 1.2 times. However, you can change the speed back to whatever speed works best for you. And lastly, another helpful feature within Vidcast is the thumbnail navigation for visual search. You can also add chapters to your Vidcast by simply adding a timestamp and description, which helps your viewers quickly find and jump to relevant moments within the video. So as you can see, Vidcast is a super handy video messaging tool to help with productivity, eliminate unnecessary meetings, create training and onboarding videos that can be used time and time again, and makes collaborating a whole lot easier. I'm really impressed with Vidcast as a whole, and I highly suggest that you check them out for yourself and see what you think. And the best part about Vidcast is that it's free to use. So I'll leave a link in the description below in case you do wanna check them out. 
If you found this video useful, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with a friend or a business partner whom you think Vidcast from WebEx could be their next tool for making videos and meetings a whole lot easier. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.